Well, we're a month into the new permitless carry law, and both Mobile Police Chief and the Mobile County Sheriff have some questions about the language in that law. Yeah, Fox 10 News' Dacian Smith with the story. And Dacian, both the sheriff and police chief claim even lawyers are having trouble understanding this new law, but there's a way to possibly get some clarity, right? That's right, Sheriff Birch mentioned that lawyers have taken a look at the law and even they haven't been able to understand it. And now they're hoping that the legislature will amend it to make things more clear. The permitless carry law in Alabama is only about a month old, but law enforcement agencies in Mobile say they are already seeing problems. I don't think there's a real clear understanding of where we're at. Under the new law, Alabama residents aren't required to have a permit for a concealed handgun. But Sheriff Paul Birch and Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine have some questions about penalties for breaking the law. Depending on which ver uh, rule you violate depends on which class of misdemeanor you're going to be charged with, which, which really makes no sense because they're all violations of the same law. For example, bringing a gun into a place like a courthouse would be a Class C misdemeanor, while touching your gun during a traffic stop would be a Class A misdemeanor. It needs to be one statute. Uh, if you violate any condition of that statute to include the ones that's already a part of the act, uh, there's one charge for it. With a busy Mardi Gras season coming, Birch and Prine are urging people not to bring their weapons downtown and to avoid settling problems with guns. And that's for self-protection or protection of your family. However, you know, should something happen, and you choose to engage you know, with another individual, chances are you're gonna probably be you know, shot by law enforcement as well because we don't know who the actors are. We just know there's two people with shooting guns. Sheriff Birch also mentioned that lawyers with the Alabama Sheriff's Association are lobbying in Montgomery to try and get this law cleared up. Now, we did reach out to State Representative Shane Stringer to ask about any possible amendments, but we have not heard back. Live in Mobile, Jason Smith, Fox 10 News.